Hello. Now it's Blogmas. Come on in, it's cold. So that's Dennis snoring by the way. Is there anything better than waking up on your birthday to a new party dress? A chomp? A new pencil case which Lizzie got for me. Lizzie got me the chomp as well. James got me the party dress and I've also got a new pair of wellies. To walk the dogs in. Pam's here too. Dennis is fast asleep. And I've had a cup of coffee. Lovely. I'm so excited. James is going to open box one. Go on, James. Uh, you see the... What? The Girl. size of it. <laughs> Where are we in this? Oh. Is it this one? Of course it is. No, it's that, that one. Oh. Oh, dear. I can't see. Here. Duty. Making a meal of this, aren't they? Yeah, you. Oh, really? Oh, oh well, that's a bit over the top for that. Oh, your favourites. Can I face nerky choke, nerky choke balls? Chalk! Not mm. nerky choke balls. Nerky choke balls. Lovely. What's, it, what's the date? You've got to eat them today? No. Next year. Okay. I'm going to open my tea advent. Oh, I've all got hands like my mum. Oh. Hang on a minute. Happy me. I'll see what that is. Hang on. Lemongrass with apple, orange peel and spices. Well, that sounds lovely. I'm going to brew that up now. I'm going to open the Peter Rabbit one now. Wayne's coming to help. Oh. See, I told you he's helping. Got a little old Peter Rabbit. Hang on, I'll get him out. Here he is. These are going to live under my Christmas tree. I can't think of anywhere else for them to go, to be perfectly honest with you. But little Peter Rabbit is by himself at the minute. I feel a bit sorry for him. I'm going to have to get someone off the tree. Father Christmas. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be with you. Until your friends show up. Johnny's up. So yes. I can now have my Green Lambkin Yarn Advent. Johnny, have you got the goods? I have got the goods. you got the uh, cash. I've got the cash. Here you go. Here's the first one, which is absolutely lovely. With candy canes and silver lanes, the glow is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? I'm sitting here minding my business, eating my Pringles, getting quite red lips by the looks of things. And James just told me that one of his main pet hates is people holding on to hot drinks with two hands. <laughs> and I told him I've seen him do that. I haven't seen him. I have seen you do it. You've not seen me, no, but drinking. While holding it with two hands, you've never seen me do that. No way. I have. I really have seen you do that, James. No. I don't know how anyone could be so offended by no, that. No, I just think... Don't be me. Mm -hmm. This demonstration's for you. This. <laughs> this is awful. We've got to try our Stalin. We've got a little while till tea time, so we should do it in a minute. Okay. All right. I've got to make the board. Hello. I'm just waiting for James to turn up. I've made a scoreboard for this year. Of course, I think we should try to be a bit more professional. 
I'm really joking. I have made a scoreboard, but I don't really think we should be more professional. Hello, Doug. You gonna come sit with me for a little while? Whilst we wait for Dad, or in to as well? Of course he is. Here's our doggy. He is, this is his room at the moment, isn't it, Doug? Oh, I'll tell you what I've been doing today. Not a lot. Well, I did do cleaning in the morning, did some cleaning, and then I go for a cup of tea with one of my neighbours who lives by himself every Thursday. We call it Thursday Club, so I went to see him for about an hour, or, well, slightly longer than an hour, but who's, who cares? And uh, whilst I was there, he said to me, do you like milky coffee? And I said, yeah, I do like milky coffee. And he said, I've got some of these that my daughter bought me. And guess what it was? An actual special favourite, like a proper vanilla one. A Nescafe Gold Vanilla Latte. And he gave me a cupcake as well, Doug. Yeah. Oh, here comes James. Right, James. So, are you ready for our big test? Come on, come sit down. Oh, Ian's here too. Everybody's turned up. If you lift him up, he'll move. There he is. Right. Oh, here comes Ian. Oh, my goodness. Right. So, <laughs> as you can see, hygiene is very important to us with these tests. Oh, the cats. So, tonight we are going to be trying Baker Street Stolen Bites. What do you think, Ian? Don't worry, he's only chewing the packaging. He's not having any of the actual stuff. Where did you get these from? You bought these home yesterday. Um, you did go in Tesco on the way home. You mean the shop? Yeah. Oh, Ian! <laughs> <laughs> right, Ian. Oh, he's a pain, isn't he? Right, there you go. Oh, people. Right. Spa, I believe. The spa. Well, I've done my research and I found out that you can buy these in most supermarkets. I know you can get them in Tesco, Asda, Morrison's, all over. So here they are, Baker Street Stolen Bites. Oh, if you don't know what we're, what we're doing here, if you're new, we have been doing this for many, many years. And I've checked, the last time we tested Stolen, do you know when it was? Of course he doesn't. Uh, 2016. I think it was a Why did I think it was more than that? No, that would be about right. Six years ago. So I'll keep getting a lot of birthday messages today to keep swiping them across. So I'll try to roll in a little while. So we started doing this for oh my goodness we started doing this on facebook for our friends and family but we decided oh now i'm getting a message from pizza hut i've listened to us because we're having a pizza tonight oh anyway let's just try them <laughs> don't take it seriously don't take our advice oh ian's curled himself into the best ball ever hasn't he what is stolen Well, it's an authentic German recipe, <laughs> a German Christmas tradition. Stollen is a sweet bread made with marzipan and candied fruit dusted in icing sugar. So just my favourite kind of stuff. Now, these smell fantastic. Now, I have to say, last time when I did this, I definitely liked the slices more than I did the bites. I find these dry, but I'm willing to give them a chance. Go on then, you take one, James. Dry. Oh, but they are nice, though. <laughs> Don't, we'll get people right in saying, oh, you're going to poison the animals. Huh. Don't let him have anything. He only sniffed it. I'm finding it hard to get rid of. Mm, pleasant. 
Oh, they always like this. I can't mm. remember. It's like paper, the uh... bites are dry. Mm. The slices are a lot nicer. We have also got a loaf. Oh my goodness. Oh. People are going to be turning off. What do you think then? I think we're going to get better than these. Is supposed to have something in the middle? That, that doesn't look like that. Mm. Hmm. Look, that's what James has got in the middle. Hang on, you've got a lump of stodge. If you look there, that's the marzipan. Now compare it with the picture. <laughs> it's not quite the same, is it? But... It's all right, but I know we can do better than this. I find the bites dry. Right, so what's your score then, James? I'm going to give him a six. What are you doing, weirdo? Trying not to chew in people's faces. Um. I don't know. I'll say six as well. I might have to change it. I can't remember what it's supposed to taste like. It's all right. Marzipan mm. and fruit bread. Yeah, no, four then. I didn't taste any of that. Okay. It tasted like... <laughs> what did it taste like? Go on, just say no. it. Go on, is no, it rude? It... No. What is it then? Rude. <laughs> what is it? Just whisper it. Go on, what's it taste no, like? It's just like caster sugar and insole. That's what it tastes like. Insole? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? What, shoes? Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad, but That's now right, I want to give it, it a five, actually. A I just think we're going to get a lot better, so I'm reducing my score to a five. So that means they get nine out of 20. So, as I said, we're going to start making a bit more effort. So I've got this chart now <laughs> that I've made. So what we'll do is we'll put the stuff on and then we'll arrange it in order. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's funny? <coughs> I didn't know you had sticky stuff on that. Well, it wouldn't stay on there without it. Where are we going to put that? Where it's been since I found this yesterday. This was inside the advent calendar that James got. That's why I whipped it away pretty quick. So I thought, I've been looking for a piece of cardboard this exact shape and size. So there we are. That's our first um, score. There's plenty more to come. So Baker Street, Stolen Boats, score a nine. And I've just realised I forgot to do something today. They're not that bad. I always feel bad when you read out the name of them. Well, it's I can't a massive remember what they're company. supposed to taste like, so I might change they it. They supply to all over the place. That's some Doug's smiley face. I've just seen but. we can get some stolen bites from Betty's, which is a very famous bakery, so I'm def definitely going to order some of those. Look at that. Yeah, this is the face that I've told you about. I may be showing you before. Look at that. His brother had uh, skull and crossbones. What? <laughs> I always tell people that, but that's not true. <laughs> I've never heard you say that before. I tell everyone that, that's not true. Yeah, that's a new one. <laughs> James, I want to get the record player down. Get it, because we what? haven't started that out yet. What record player? The advent oh. calendar one. Right, I'm going to pause it, because we're going to have to put batteries in it, and then I'm we'll play there. you the song of the day. Right, come on then, James, sit oh, down, sorry, we'll have Jack. a little tune. So, here's the little thing. Batteries were already in. All I had to do was hit go. I thought it was going to take a lot of setting up. <laughs> I'll hold it for you. Okay. Right. It's got spoilers on the back, James, so don't read it. Well, it's not going to make a lot of difference. <laughs> <laughs> not too familiar with this one. Ian's face. <laughs> Is it's it going called... to have sing or is it all done on pan pipes? <laughs> 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 
No, no, this will be Christmas, is it? Do you know how much this costs? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I asked for this for my present. I was going to play this to the guinea pigs. They'll be furious oh, if I present them with this. We'd better stop it because we'll be getting the people come after us for copyright. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was every year again. I've never heard that one. That's a new one to me, James. What about you? Look at the look at tomorrow's. That's not Christmas. <laughs> What's that to do with Christmas? I don't know. That but might be the worst thing I've ever bought yet. No, it's not. There's been worse than this. I won't go into that now though, because that might be sound ungrateful. Right. I am gonna show you what I've been knitting today. And then that might be it for me. I've had, had a bit of a sleep, but I feel like this side of my face has gone red from the cushions. Has it? Awesome. I got bit the other night, and I've got a massive bruise, haven't I, where I got bitten? Yeah. By some sort of bug. I think it was a, a gnat outside when I was pulling up grass for the guinea pigs. Right, that'll Did do. I go? Me. Yeah. All right, so we'll probably be along again tomorrow, James, for some more of this stuff. How many have we got? We've got five, but we've got we've still got we've got Lidl, we've got Baker Street, we've got two from Lidl, we've got two from Waitrose. We need to get Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, ASDA, Marks and Spencers. I'd like to get some of the Betty's one as well. All right, I'm going to go now, and I'll see you in a little while to have a look at my knitting. Meg wants to come back in here now and do some more colouring. No, it's not going to is it? She's 17. She's doing an art course. I can't be colouring. How patronising. Right. <laughs> see so this is how far I've got. I've only got that little bit left to do. If I hadn't had a nap, I'd have done it by now. But this is called this by Sony Bias and it is by Stitch Nerd Designs. I'm not talking to you, James. Uh, and it's going to be a long scarf. So I've nearly finished today's bit, but I'm really enjoying it. This is a blanket to attract Ian to me. This is his favourite fleece, this variety. Can you see that bit there? Here Jimmy tits that. You all know what Jimmy Titten is, don't you? We should do by now. It's when cats go like this. I'll put a clip of Ian doing it in. Because this is his favourite variety of fleece to Jimmy Tit on. So when he comes over and feels it under his feet, he instantly starts. Anyway, that's how my knitting's going. I'll show you some more tomorrow. I've tried so hard to get that off. Well, maybe it's not makeup. Oh, <laughs> it's gone. Oh, right. I'm gonna say good night. I feel very tired. I didn't have a good night last night. I have had a nap today, but um, I'm just gonna go. I've had a nice day. But I might have another birthday next week. <laughs> I don't mean presents and stuff like that. I mean another day off just before. Well, I haven't had really had a day off today. I've had a day off work, but I haven't had a day off of the house. I did loads of ironing and cleaning. So maybe I'll have a proper day off. One day next week is a treat, a pre-Christmas treat before the children break up. Yeah, I'm going to do that. My mum and old and the old nan are coming round in a little while to bring me my presents. I've been having pangs of anxiety all day about people opening their advent calendars that I made today in case everybody hates them. I hope everybody does like them. 
the little bunnies. I don't think I'm going to do them again next year for a variety of reasons. So I hope people like them this year. I like them. I love them. Uh, I think I want a pizza for my tea today. Tonight. I haven't had one in a long time. So I think that'd be quite nice. I've got to get a haircut. I must call the hairdressers tomorrow. It's so unruly. Well, it's not unruly. It's all right. It's a funny shape because it's been up here all day in a ponytail. It's not even been in a ponytail. Oh, what am I doing? Hang on. That's better. Thank you to everybody who sent me a happy birthday message. I'm now going to reply to all of them. I've seen them coming through in the daytime, but I'm now going to reply to them properly. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much. I've had a nice day. I'm going to go downstairs and wait for my mum and my nan to come. All right, everybody. I'll see you in the morning. Bye.